Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own custom slide transitions using animations. I think these look great. And they really help you break out of the traditional transitions built into PowerPoint. So let's jump into it. As usual, we'll start with a new blank presentation. Go to new, blank, right click, layout, blank. I'm just gonna paste in the colors that I'm going to use. And for the first custom slide transition, we're gonna be using the spin animation with two different shapes. We'll firstly set the color of the background by right clicking, choosing format background, solid fill. And I'm gonna use the eyedropper to pick this purple shape here. Great. Now we're gonna add the two shapes. The first one will be a big rectangle. So we're gonna click on rectangle, click anywhere on the page. Again, I'm gonna pick the color. So I'm gonna to go to eyedropper and choose this. And I'm gonna make sure it has no outline. Now I'm going to go to the size and properties, click to reveal the size. And I'm gonna set this to 60 centimeters high by 100 centimeters wide. So it's going to be pretty big, but it needs to be big enough to rotate across the page. So I'm just gonna zoom out slightly, put this below my slide. There, that should be good. And then I'm going to go to animations. I'm gonna choose spin, which is here. Then I'm gonna to go to animation pane and double click on this. You can see that it defaults to 360 degrees clockwise, but we want a quarter spin or 90 degrees clockwise. And we also want a smooth end. So I'll just drag this all the way up. That's looking good. Just want to take it down to one second and then we'll preview this. Pretty good. You can just see it needs to be a tiny bit bigger. So one way of doing that is to hold control and shift. You can see the shape expands as you drag it from the corner. And again, we'll just pull this down slightly below. Shift F5 to preview. Perfect. Now we'll add the other shape. And for this, we're going to use a triangle. I'll hold down shift to expand it. Now I'm going to pick the color and I'm going to use this light blue color here and I'm going to turn off the outline, so no outline. I'm going to click on this little yellow dot and drag this over. And now I've got the triangle that I want and I'm just going to rotate it just so that it's flat on the screen. I'm then going to go to format shape and make sure it's big enough. And I want about 93 centimeters wide. It's looking good. I'm just gonna drag this to the bottom again. And for this animation, I'm going to use spin again, but I'm going to get it to spin the other way. So if we go to animation pane, double click on the triangle, choose quarter spin, but we'll also want to choose counterclockwise, so it spins the other way. We'll drag smooth end up again. Looking pretty good there. We'll just take it down to one second and we'll set start to be with previous. So it happens at the same time. Let's play that now. Excellent. That's just the effect I'm looking for. I'm now gonna zoom in slightly and paste in the text that I had earlier to show what we're doing. A custom slide transition using a spin animation. Let's see how that looks. Great. And in this example, I think I want the triangle to be very slightly bigger. So I'll do the same thing again. Hold the corner, press Control Shift and drag. Excellent. There's the first custom slide transition. Now let's look at transition number two. So we'll right click, new slide, zoom in a bit, paste our colors that we're going to use, and now format background, eyedropper, we'll choose this purple. In this custom transition example, I'm gonna be using a grow animation on a circle. So I'm gonna click on the circle, I'm going to go to color, eyedropper, click this pink. Now I'm going to size this up and I think I want it about 35 centimeters. I'm going to zoom out a bit, 
put this off the side of the page, make sure it's got no outline. And now we can add the animation. So we'll go to animations, we'll click on our circle, we'll click add animation and we'll choose grow slash shrink. See, that's pretty close already to what we want. But we'll just double click on the circle in the animation pane and I'm going to change the size to 200%. You must press enter here, otherwise it won't save it. Then I'm gonna drag up the end, make it a smooth end as usual. Pretty close, just think we want it a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna click duration down to one second. Now I'm gonna play this. Great, so I'll just paste in the text, play, That's great. So that is the custom slide transition using the grow shrink animation. For the final example, we're gonna be using a zoom animation. As before, we'll right click, choose new slide. I'll paste in the colors I'm going to be using. Right click, format background, and I'm going to choose the blue color, eyedropper, pick the blue. And now I'm gonna create two circles that I'm gonna use for my zoom animation transition. So as before, we'll click on the circle, I'm going to choose the color, I drop a, in this light blue. Again, make sure it's got no outline. And I want this to be quite big. I think about 41 centimeters should do. Then I'm going to align it, align middle, align center. And that is now in the right place to do the zoom animation. We'll go to animations and you can either choose zoom if it's in here, or you can go to add animation and choose zoom from here. So that's my first circle. I can now click on the circle, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, go to my color, choose the second color, which is this purple, align it back in the middle and center. And because I've duplicated it, it will already have the zoom on. But the one thing we will need to do is go to the animation pane, make sure it starts with previous and put on a slight delay, about a quarter of a second will do. So that will give us the effect we're looking for. We'll just play from there. Excellent, looks really good. So I'll just paste in my text, play that. There we go, that's great. So three different ways of using animation to make your own custom slide transitions. And you can try out any of these using different shapes, different animations, and break out of the traditional transitions in PowerPoint and create your own unique style. So there we go, three custom slide transitions that look great. Let's see what you can create. Feel free to ask any questions, just leave a comment down below. And if you like the video, hit subscribe and I'll be uploading new videos every week. Thanks very much, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.